We go to the story now. The municipal employees and civil servants union is calling out what it calls the double standards regarding gender-based violence and sexual assault allegations. The union says at least two senior Ekuruleni officials have been implicated, but to date no action has been taken against them. Meg Su says one of its members reported alleged sexual harassment in December last year and has accused the city of shielding the alleged perpetrator. We join now by the union's Vogilem Lungwana uh, via Zoom. Good afternoon to you, Vogilem and thank you so much for joining us. Just give us a sense in terms of your members' grievances and reports that they have submitted with regards to uh, sexual harassment or any other violations that they've experienced in municipalities. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Cindy and listeners at home. Yes, indeed, we, we have uh, been confronted with uh, grievances from our members around uh, issues of sexual uh, harassment and gender-based violence, uh, to mention but two incidents which uh, we have issued a press release uh, yesterday and last week. Uh, the grievance relates to the uh, victims of sexual harassment in particular who have since reported uh, the sexual harassment uh, cases but steps no steps were taken uh, in the case where the steps were taken there is a delay in in prosecuting such cases but in contrast um, in some march 2023, one incident happened where our member accused of the same conduct was dismissed without a hearing due to the seriousness of this misconduct. So that is the status quo. Yes, but, but what is the, the, the bottleneck? Why is it that these cases are not expedited and treated with the seriousness that it deserves? In your view, is this because there is just no political will or appetite for the municipality to take action? Or, but what are the technicalities? Uh, it is not to do with lack of political will per se. But uh, I think it has to do with the seniority of the people who are involved in such misconduct. They are able to manipulate or influence processes so that they can get away with this serious misconduct. Yeah, but your Chapter 9 institutions such as your CCMA um, and other channels where you can go as a union, surely you've got the muscle and numbers to put pressure uh, on uh, the municipal workers who are implicated, in this case the two in Ekuruleni, regardless of their seniority, uh, you know, gender-based violence is a very serious, um, you know, uh, socio-economic problem in the country and therefore should not even be tolerated. What kind of muscle or pressure have you exerted? It would be premature, premature to run to CCMA to assert the right of uh, uh, sexual harassment or discrimination before exhausting internal avenues. Hence, the employer or the municipality must be given an opportunity to deal with such matters using its available policies. Yeah, it's almost 12 months since it was reported, Vokila, according to your statement that these cases or allegations were made in December and you followed the process. How long uh, does it take usually for these cases to be ventilated? There is no standard uh, timeline or stated in, in place where workers will know how long it will take. Like I've made an example in some March this year, one employee, due to the seriousness of the sexual harassment allegations, was dismissed without a hearing, summarily, so to speak. Um, but in some instances, for reasons that are unknown to us, there are some bottlenecks in getting the process to unfold. Mm. So, so we've got a problem. That's why 
we've issued that uh, press release so that Yes, but, but now while, while, while you're waiting to exhaust the internal grievance processes, doesn't the member, your member, have a right, just as a civilian, uh, uh, you know, to, to lay a criminal charge at the police station uh, against the uh, perpetrator of the, the, the sexual violence against them? Or do they have to wait for that process to be completed prior to going the next step? Yes, uh, any citizen has a right to lay a criminal case, but this is a labor. This is a labor matter. The criminal matter goes its own process. The labor matter goes its own process. There, there must be a reason from the employer side, from the internal uh, internal, as to why why is it that a complaint is not processed to a point where the perpetrator is subjected to disciplinary hearing. The two are mutually exclusive. Yes, so there hasn't been a, a, date, a date set down for a disciplinary hearing. Has there at least been an inquiry in the past 12 months since the, the claims have been made? Has there been any movement in your view with regarding to the two cases uh, of sexual or alleged sexual harassment in Ekuruleni? The one case for GPV there hasn't been move, a movement. And then that one was reported to uh, police state, to SAPS. Then the other case for sexual harassment, we've just learned that the disciplinary proceedings have just kick-started. But we believe that that is just for the sake of ticking the box than, than the real disciplinary proceedings uh, one would expect. And we are also surprised as to why the double standard, because a, a precedent has been set where one employee, due to the seriousness of the uh, misconduct, was dismissed without a hearing. And then this other employee, despite the finding, uh, the investigation uh, finding that there is a prima facie case, but he's treated with kids' gloves. Okay, Vogile, we're going to have to leave it there for the moment. That is Vogile Mlungwana from the Municipal Employees and Civil Servants Union. In short, Meksu, saying that two of their members had made allegations or rather uh, instituted grievance processes to two employees who are employed by the Ekurleni municipality, and so far nothing has been done. We'll definitely follow up on that story as it develops.